Let's bring in Patrick Marley. He's a political reporter with the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, and he joins us now from Wisconsin. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thank you. So Trump won Wisconsin in 2016, but a narrow margin, a narrow win. Why do you think voters went this time with Biden, and how big of a win is it in that state for him? It's very narrow. It was very narrow in 2016 for Trump. It's very narrow in 2020 for Biden. Uh, Trump won the state by about 23,000 votes out of some 3 million casts in 2016. He's lost it, uh, according to the initial tally, by about 20,000 uh, out of a similar number of votes. So it's not so much that there was this dramatic shift. There was this very tiny shift. It was just enough to put Biden over the edge, and now it looks like we're going to have a recount. I was going to say, are the numbers predictive of him getting a recount? because I know they have to be closed for a recount to be asked for. Yeah, so in Wisconsin, you can get a recount if you're at one percentage point or less. He's in that margin. He's about six-tenths of a percentage point. So if he carries through on his uh, declaration that he's going to uh, seek a recount, he will get it. Uh, but from there, it's very difficult because although uh, on percentage terms it's very close, it's 20,000 votes. That's hard to find. We actually had a recount in our 2016 election, and you found a very slight change in the results. So uh, a few hundred votes changed. There was a net gain of just a very small amount in that election, but the result did not change. Trump still won that 2016 election. Uh, this time around with the recount, he's got, a, you know, a very similar challenge, something really extraordinary would have to happen to have a shift of 20,000 votes. Absolutely. Okay, Patrick, let me ask you about the election officials in your state who run the election. What are they saying? Do, do they feel accused of not doing their jobs? No, they feel very strongly that they have done everything uh, by the book. The uh, head of the state elections commission said that uh, Wisconsin does a very good job of keeping a paper trail and uh, making every thing that happens, uh, you know, on record, that everything that happens in Wisconsin is publicly observable, and often campaign officials are watching things. If something unusual happens, it's noted, and, and she said the 2016 recount shows what a good process we have. Uh, no major problems were found. She says she has not heard of any problems uh, that were significant last night. So I don't know that they feel accused, but they feel very uh, strongly that they have done things uh, right. And, and so far, nothing has been presented that raised uh, any kind of serious alarms about the way the election was conducted in Wisconsin. Let me ask you about mail-in ballots, because we know that the Republicans under Donald Trump have a very specific uh, suspicion about mail-in ballots. They don't think that they should be used in some cases. They shouldn't be counted in some cases. Was there a large a turnout for mail-in ballots? Was there a large number of mail-in ballots sent in this time around? Yes, we saw a huge increase in mail uh, balloting. That's because of COVID. Wisconsin has long had uh, the ability to use mail ballots, but they just weren't very popular here. That changed earlier this year. We had an election, a statewide election for Supreme Court, and uh, you saw a lot of people use mail balloting then. They, about 2 million um, early votes were cast this year. The vast majority of those were mail ballots. Some of them were in-person early votes. Uh, but that's two-thirds of the votes that were cast early, and like I said, many of those by mail. Uh, but, but we have not seen any problems with those ballots, other than they take a lot longer to count than the in-person ballots on Election Day. Can you explain that a little bit more? Because we're seeing uh, similar situations, right, play out across the country, where they are still being counted, for, counted in Pennsylvania. And I know mail-in ballots are very specific, and they do take longer. But why is that? Sure, that's a great question, and it's also important to remember that every state has slightly different rules, so uh, it can go a little faster in one place and slower in another. In Wisconsin, the law does not allow them to start counting any ballots until Election Day, so they get all these mail ballots beforehand, but they can't, uh, they can't start counting them. Now, when you cast a ballot in person on Election Day, you, the voter, fill it out, and then you personally feed it into a machine, and it gets tabulated then and there. For the mail ballots, a poll worker has to open the ballot, take it out, announce who the voter is, check it off of a poll list, unfold it, and then feed it into a machine. Um, sometimes th there's a problem going into the machine because it's been folded and might get mangled in the mail. And so that can slow down the process. Uh, if there's an error on the ballot, say somebody voted for two people in one office, uh, the, the ballot would reject it. They have to figure out what's happening there. So. Um, that process just uh, adds up, especially in very populous places like Milwaukee, where you have uh, well over 100,000 mail ballots. Got it. Patrick Marley, thank you for joining us. Appreciate your insight on this.